Hello guys, my name is MC. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, engineer based in Seoul, South Korea. Pleasure to meet you. So, my name, like my official passport name is Lam with the B. And the C is the equivalent of, you know, if you've, if you've ever watched Japanese anime, yeah, you have that. Oh, uh, well, uh, Juyong san or like uh, Changi san kind of thing, but then the, that's the Shi version in Korea. So we call it Juyong Shi or like Lem Shi. So my friends used to call me that and it kind of stuck with me. So that's my artist name. So I started off playing music in church. So that's a huge part of how I started off doing music um, started off trumpet and then piano and then eventually didn't like it so I changed to drums and then from there on yeah everything was about music I don't think there is one person that inspired me to do music actually there were none but I just as a kid really loved to dive into all sorts of music, like pop, like indie, funk, jazz, like hard rock. Um, so it was a collaboration of a lot of different artists, but in the entirety, it was the music that really compelled me to become a musician. Um, if I were to describe my music, it's really hard, but um, let's just say indie pop so my creative process is very um, diverse in the terms that I don't get one specific way of writing like sometimes the lyrics will come first sometimes the melody sometimes the beat sometimes um, just the composition itself and so my job as an artist is trying and put that into words, like write it down or record it on my phone and then next time I really start recording I know like the base of what I want to record so yeah. The most exciting part was that I got to co-produce with a really really good friend of mine, uh, ex-roommate in Berkeley uh, called SH. He's coming with an album. Yeah, normally because I don't do well with co-writing because I'm pretty, you know, um, sure of what I want musically and sometimes that can cause confliction between writers. But then with him, we had a very good chemistry going on. So like whatever I wrote, like he loved and whatever he wrote, I loved. So we kind of fed off each other and it was, it was really smooth and fun. Um, I think the most difficult part of this album has to be that it was 12 songs. So a full album, but I had a deadline of like three months to finish everything from writing to recording to the master product. So time-wise it was a bit hefty, but in the end, I think it was uh, all worth it. Hard to decide, but right now, I would say Jelly. So the song Fortune Teller, when I and SH wrote it, um, for some reason, both of us knew that this was, this has to be a duet song with a female artist. And in my mind, I had Stella Nuna in my head. It was just a Stella song. So I, after we wrote the demo, I sent the song to Stella Nuna. And then she was like, oh my god, the song is so good, I want to do it. And then yeah, everything just clicked in from there. Very hard question, but... Oh, this is hard. I don't have an answer for this, but let's just say I have a lot of artists that I 
really do want to collaborate with. Like, I want to have an album of me as a producer and have like a lot of featuring artists like David Foster. So uh, I can't pick one, but yeah. Yes. So interestingly enough, I started off my official music career in Malaysia. And so um, it's called ICOM. The, the college was called ICOM. Um, within that college, we had a lot of music musicians from a lot of different you know, backgrounds. And, you know, um, but one thing for sure was that Indonesian players were, in my opinion, the most musical out of like all the other you know, people. So I had the privilege of like you know having to jam along with people like um, Yehuda. I don't know if he's gonna see this, but uh, yeah, Yehuda. And like if I were to talk about Indonesian music scene, I used to be in a band called Eden. They're still live. I'm pretty sure they're still, you know, doing music, but I used to like I almost signed a contract with the band Eden in Indonesia. Uh, Ryan is a good friend of mine there. Um, I used to listen to a lot of Barry Likumau, the bassist, and my dream once was to go to Java Jazz Jazz Fest. And so yeah, I'm really into like Indonesian music scene. I really think music there is unparalleled to a lot of other you know even even compared to the states it's really great you know? yes um, nowadays I think that's more you know the case with a lot of artists especially if you can take control of your own you know songs and sessions and send it remotely and so yeah that would be a great you know collaboration not just in Indonesia but like all over the world I'm willing to you know, try and expand my palette so one day we'll see how that goes hello Indonesia K-pop chart my name is Lam C thank you all for listening um, I hope you guys enjoyed our little conversation about the album and whatnot um, I do see a lot of Indonesian fans listening through other mediums and I have a good database of it so I really do want to thank you guys one more time and hopefully when everything is good and over with, um, I'll see you there one day. So please stay tuned for that as well. Bye!